Hi guys, today's tutorial is all about Halloween. This nano design features a witch's cauldron broom, a witch herself, a spider, and a creepy starry night. Let's start off with the base coat. For the first design, I'm painting my index finger using a beautiful purple nail polish. Prepare white, black, green acrylic paints and a nail art brush. Begin to create the witch's cauldron in black. Add a second layer if necessary. Now use brown paint for the little wooden spoon. Let's create a spooky potion using a green light grass paint. The most fun part of this design is the dripping effect. I love it. Paint some bubbles randomly. For the second design, I'm painting my thumb using Plum Paradise by Color Show Maybelline. Prepare yellow and orange acrylic paints. We are painting a Halloween night. Make sure the paint isn't thick and use a little bit of water if that helps to use it better. Create a C shape in yellow for the moon. Paint a few stars. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want to create a Halloween look for fun, so it has to be creepy somehow. If you like, you can incorporate some orange color for more depth, and we are done. For the third design, paint your middle fingernail in black. Now we are painting the broom like shown. Add a little bit of yellow paint. Create the stick using light blue. Go in with orange again. Paint some stars using white paint. Add some white highlights and that's it. Paint the other nail in white. We are going to paint here a witch. Let's begin with the head using green paint. Don't you, 
using black create a little mouth. Now let's create black hair. While this paint is drying, we are going to draw her eyes. Create two white circles. Add a small orange circles inside. Finish the eyes with a tiny white dot as a highlight. Add a second layer of the hair but use black nail polish to get a more opaque look and we are done. Now for the last design, paint your pinky nail using orange nail polish. We are creating here a huge black spider. Let's begin with the body. I'm using only black nail polish here. The legs, I'm using this striper brush because it will be a lot easier than using the regular nail brush. As you can see, this brush is great for thin lines. Finish off by sealing your design with a beautiful top cut by Sally Hansen. We are almost done, we only need that beautiful extra shield the top cut adds to our manicure. I'm really in love with this Halloween witch inspired nail design. If you decide to try out this design, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag MatinsInspire on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching!